Why would you say branding is so powerful and how exactly do you create a strong brand that people who want to have a bunch of customers follow them for, you know, their brand for a lifetime? How do they achieve something like that? So what I usually still see, and when I say still see is because you think that, you know, entrepreneurs would have already been knowledgeable, but sometimes, you know, you're not a, a social media expert. You're not a digital marketing expert. You do what makes you, you know, whatever business you have. So I still see brands using or companies rather using like the social media wrong. They use it as a way to just promote their services. Here's who we are. We do this, yeah. we sell this. And that's completely wrong. Like mm -hmm. I cannot describe you how wrong that is. Yes, definitely, definitely the goal is that. The goal is for you to be active in social media to eventually have leads and have customers, right? But that's not what social media is about. Social media, doesn't matter which platform, is all about community. Mm -hmm. Finding your target audience of community that A, can potentially relate with your brand, follow your brand because they're learning something, they're being relatable, but also finding your potential customers in that target audience, right? Mm -hmm. um, so that's what I say when branding is so important because guess what we do when you're like looking for a service? First thing first, you, you search on Google, maybe you search on LinkedIn or you search on Facebook. And mm -hmm. if I'm not feeling a vibe of relation of the yeah. brand, yeah. I'm not going, like I'm not even mm -hmm. DMing them, right? Uh, yeah. People don't, people literally forget that someone, and this is because I have that sales experience, someone doesn't buy a service because of what your company offers. Mm -hmm. Someone buys a service or your product because of who they spoke to, the account manager, mm. the first person they got introduced, they mm. felt good about it and then yeah. made them learn more. Oh, like, tell me more, what, what else you offer? But it's not Very because true. of the product. So right. when brands realize that, they'll change the whole, uh, if it's their sales team and the, how they approach customers and how even the meeting takes place. And this is something that I teach my customers as well is how do you go from step one to literally close the sale, but still right. show your brand? Because yes. every person you hire, yeah. you might misrepresent you if you if you didn't train them correctly. Mm -hmm. So that's why it's very important for brands to truly understand what branding means and how mm -hmm. they can relate with the right target audience instead of just being, oh, look at me, look at me, and look what I sell, right? So it has to yes. be about look at you and how we can help you or how right. we relate with you. Yeah, that's a really good point because at the end of the day, everybody's selfish, right? They really want to know is that famous expression, what's in it for them? And if you can make them feel on an emotional level, that you really understand them and you really understand where they're at. And again, that's through finding your, you know, your target audience. And you're not just like a jack of all trades. I mean, you can be when you get big, like a Walmart, but you kind of specialize. And especially when you're starting out, I think in a saturated market, that's where it's so, so important. 